Hey, this is Gary with a quick uh, tip and trick. This is actually a legacy feature, but not a lot of people are aware of it, so I wanted to share this with you. Um, what you're looking at right now is a pretty standard particle flow uh, you know, setup, and we've got our particle flow window open up here. Uh, this is under graph editors if you're not used to particle flow. This won't be an overview of how particle flow works, but rather uh, getting access to all these great presets. So since the uh, 2010 release of 3ds Max, you have the ability to use these um, preset flows, but if you notice right here, if I just drag and drop this out, it comes up with an empty list. There's really nothing there. And what basically the preset flows are, are just standard Max files that are in a specific directory. Now where that directory resides is right here, and it's going to depend on if you're, uh, what operating system you're using. So for example, this one uh, is an older legacy uh, XP, and you can see here where the particle flow presets is. You're basically looking for um, the username, local settings, application data, Autodesk, 3ds Max, version number, ENU, plugin config, and particle flow presets is what you're looking for. So this directory is already there. And if you're using a, a later version of Windows like I am, uh, this is where I will be on my machine. I'm currently uh, doing this demonstration with the 2012 current release of 3ds Max, 64-bit. Uh, so this is where it's going to be. So if you, you know, take note of that and just look for this this particle flow presets directory is already out there so what that looks like on my uh, machine here is you know just that I just browse out to my directory and you get all the way down into Autodesk and you see this particle flow presets and it is in fact sitting empty right now well what we want to do is we want to populate it so that in, within 3ds Max it's gonna look something like this and this is just a screen grab I'm, I'm, I'll get to this uh, in one second of you know how to make it but you can see that it's populated with lots of different particle flow presets so if I dismiss this dialog what we're gonna do is first show you where these are located now these ship with 3ds max um, these are all the sample files now one thing I did change and I'm gonna offer it to all of you as a download as part of this blog post if you notice under here Autodesk 3ds max uh, sample files if you go in there there's this particle flow elements library and these are the ones that uh, Alan McKay put together and I'd like to give uh, thanks and props to Alan for doing this for Autodesk and for and sharing with all of you guys uh, so if you go into here and under scenes you can see that these are broken into air earth fire water and logo well, one thing that I've done, it was a, a pretty uh, significant change to these. They're, these are the exact same files that you have with every seat of 3ds Max. However, what I did was made a set of these, and it's called Particle Flow Presets Named. So what I've done is given all of these a prefix of air, earth, fire, water, or logo, and you can see them all here. And then I've also added an empty text file. Now this text file, all of these are really just empty at this point. But you can see that within 3ds Max, these can be used for uh, various things, including labeling uh, these particle flow presets according to you know your different production needs. So as you might guess, installing these is pretty straightforward. I've got this particle flow presets directory over here, and we've got our particle flow presets named directory over here. I'm just going to select all of these, copy, and come over here into our. Um, you know directory for our install of 3ds max and I'm gonna go ahead and paste those so this is a 69 almost 70 megabytes of, of text of uh, files there and then what I'm gonna do is just exit out of 3ds max real quick and then uh, I'll pause the video and then when I come in I'll show you how to access these uh, within 3ds max so the rest is pretty straightforward here I am inside of 3ds max I'm gonna go under create particle systems PF source or particle flow source and instead of clicking and dragging a new type of um, icon out in the viewport I'm just gonna go right into particle view and then drag preset flow out and when you do that now you're gonna see that I have populated all those particle flow presets and keep in mind that these are really just max files on the hard drive so you can go get to these files and if you wanted to just drag and drop them into a, a session of max you can do that as opposed to using this particle flow library but this is just a great way to get started and let's say for example I look at um, air magic dust so I can just double click that and you're gonna see that it loads up the particle flow preset for all of these different events so all the events are taken care of and if I minimize my uh, particle view window and let's take a look at this one full screen you can see that in the case of this one it's got a nice uh, dust kind of effect kind of bombing off of there one little tip and trick I don't know if Alan did this on all of these doesn't look like he did but I'll uh, give him the benefit of the doubt a uh, little tip and trick for particle flow is taking this cache operator and putting it right up at the top of your um, particle flow, the entire event tree. And then I like to set this cache up. I've got 
quite a bit of RAM in my machine, so I'm going to put this at 9999999. I forget the exact number there, but this is just a memory limit. And what that's going to do is actually cache your particles into RAM. So they'll play through once, and it'll kind of chug along. But after it's played through, it'll play back in real time. And it's you might be not seeing it in real time due to the uh, capture software I'm using. But once it's played through once, it, it's a you know really nice fast scene. So I'll, go, I'll just go ahead and reset my max scene. Once again, just come up under here. Uh, particle systems, PF source, let's go to particle view, drag and drop a preset flow, and let's look at another one of these. Um, I'm looking for one that involves a car. Yes, yeah, so this is the leaves. This is a, a couple of cars driving by. And you'll s notice that this actually even has geometry in here. So here's a, here's a oops, and there's my phone uh, telling me I have a message. Sorry about that. But here's a, a particle flow preset, a little more complicated, but you can get, you know, go in and reverse engineer how this was set up. If I come out uh, full screen, you'll notice that there's actual geometry in this scene. And as these cars come through, they're just kind of kicking up the leaves, as you uh, can see right here. So again, these are just a great way to get started with these particle flows. Obviously, there's over 100 of them. There's a lot to get uh, used to and play with. Uh, I encourage you to you know look at these. Oh, as you're learning, you can really just kind of uh, drag and drop these out into your scene or sorry, into a new scene and just you know create a brand new file if you want to, to sort of see what these different particle flow presets do. So obviously there's a torch burning. And once again, I'll do a couple, one more of these, uh, maybe a flamethrower is always some good times. Um, you know, Hit okay, and there we got our uh, particle flow flamethrower. So there you have it, uh, lots of particle flow presets to play with. And once again, thanks to Alan McKay for creating these and uh, you know, sharing them with the community.